morning, y'all. <clears throat> Happy Valentine's Day. Um, told y'all 2024 was going to be a great year. Two new babies coming into the family. Couldn't be happier. <coughs> it's going to be a great year. It's going to be 62 years today. Snow yesterday and 62 today. Gotta love Tennessee. <coughs> I don't know where this is coming from. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great year. And, uh, I don't know, I just felt it earlier in January that this was gonna be a really good year. And it started out great. It started out really great. Um, sorry about the bad guys. I just can't, <clears throat> can't make myself get another one yet. As long as this one's driving, I'm, I'm gonna drive her till she, um, till she quits on me. But, I'll tell you what, um, Dixon County and Cheatham County are the absolute worst on filling potholes after ice and snow been on the road. These roads are terrible. And then they want to just throw that cheap black stuff in them and then it sinks right back in. It's just awful. But, I don't know. But yeah, um, love good news, love good news. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has um, made comments on Skylar's videos and telling her congratulations and telling me congratulations on becoming um, a Gigi a Sage. Um, <coughs> We appreciate all the kind words, um, the ones who've sent gifts. We appreciate that so much. You guys have no idea. Um, it's very much appreciated. Um, we feel the love from everybody. You guys, you just, you don't even know what it means to us. I know a lot of things have been said about Skylar putting her um, baby registry out there or whatever, but, and it's not even... If y'all knew her, you would know that it was not done in greed at all. She's she's the most giving, loving person I've ever seen in my life. She spreads herself so thin to the people that she cares about. But um, I appreciate everything. The words, um, you know, people checking on her and the gifts and everything. It's just, it means so much to, to us. It really does. The uh, community that we have um, built on here is just unreal, and the support is amazing. It's amazing. You don't realize um, until you're in the middle of it how how precious it is. <clears throat> but she's very loved already. She's so loved, and um, I got some things in the mail yesterday, and <sighs> had so much fun looking at them last night. So. Can't give them to her yet. Not letting her have them. Not letting Scott have them yet. And I'm still got them. Um, now that I got those, I'm ready to work some more things. But she's going to be a very small little girl. Very small. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. But, um, I get to, um, I don't know if I've said anything about it on here, but I get to be in the delivery room. So that's going to be an experience. I cannot wait. I can't to see, can't wait to um, see how my son reacts to being in there. Because um, he, uh, bless him, he, um, he can't see blood. He can't see, um, he can't have blood drawn from his arm. He, um, as tough as he is, and he's one of the toughest and I know he can't, can't do blood, <laughs> he can't, he can't handle, um, having blood drawn from him, he can't see it, he, he can't, he, uh, almost passes out, so I'm wondering how he's gonna handle childbirth and, um, being in there, and it's definitely gonna be an experience, um, so we're gonna see how, how that goes for him, I'm so excited to watch him, um, and daddy and Skylar become the mom that she's wanted for so, so long. Um, man, 2024, guys. I told you guys. I just felt it. 
about it. It was gonna be great. <clears throat> I'm ready for it. Um, I did want to speak just a little bit on my relationship with my parents um, since um, it's trying to be tarnished. Um, <clears throat> throws it in there and it turns out amazing and you're like I can't duplicate it because she doesn't have a recipe that's that's the mom she is and um, she was a stay-at-home mom and she was always there and always present and you know I never <clears throat> we never had to worry where we were gonna be because she was always there amazing mom um, <clears throat> and it's funny because when I look at myself in pictures and I see her, I see myself looking like her. And then when I look at pictures of my dad and about my dad, I see myself looking like my dad. So it's very strange. So I guess I'm a blend of both of them. Um, but she was, she's a great mom. And you, when you meet her, like I said, she just seems like this really sweet. And she is a really sweet lady. But I've also seen my mom be redneck as hell. And so I get it from her just like I get it from my dad. Um, my dad was 5'8", a um, little skinny thing, but I tell you what, when you got him mad, um, he was like one of those little chickens he fought. He just came out and just fired, fired up. Um, <clears throat> he stood up for what he believed in. Um, you know, just like that um, Aaron Tippin song, You Got to Stand for Something, uh, that was my dad. Um, and that's where I get who I am from. Um, I just, they both were, made me who I am. I'm just a little more vocal um, than my mom was, but when, once you get my mom to that point, my mom is very vocal. But when you meet her, she's just a sweet little old lady and she just is, um, you know very calm and um until she you know i say something that she thinks i shouldn't have said and then it's uh here's exactly how she says it and my kids die laughing every time but she'll look at me and she'll say judy gail and i'm like oh no there goes the first and middle name and i'm in trouble and my kids just died laughing they think it's so funny when she says my first and middle name and i am named after my mother and my mother's first name um and so when she says my first name and my middle name together, my kids just die laughing because they know I've done something, said something that my mom thought wasn't appropriate because my mouth is just word vomit. But, um, and my daddy, oh my God, my daddy. Mm. You know, some girls are just daddy's girls and I was a daddy's girl. And um, that won't change, hasn't changed. Um, it is what it is. doesn't mean I love my mother any less. I was just my daddy's shadow. Um, I was a lover of animals. I still am a lover of animals. My daddy was a lover of animals and that was our common ground. And, um, I followed him around like a little puppy and, uh, our interests were so much alike. And, um, 
our relationship was great. No, nothing anybody can say on here is going to diminish the relationship I have with my dad. Um, I know what it was. He knows what it is. And there's nothing anybody can say that's going to change that. Nothing. Because I have amazing parents. And I'm a great daughter. Um, I'm a great family member to those um, who deserve me to be a great family member. And I'm an amazing mother. And um, I love my family. And I love my mom and dad. And I absolutely adore my kids. And um, I don't brag about a lot of things about myself. But as far as those things go, I'll brag about that till the day I die. Because I know that I am those things. And nobody can take that from me. But happy Valentine's Day, guys. I love you all. And you have an amazing day. And 2024 is going to be amazing, guys. Hang on to that.